adopt our standards. So now, up yours. The Daily Mojo. That is just cool. Oh, I saw this video. Oh, I didn't realize that's who this was, but I saw this video. It was in a short where they blew up the... um, where they blew up the the dock, I guess you will, and attached it to their tent. Yeah, and they go. Uh, I mean, they do the whole thing. They when they drive up there, they pull everything out of the truck, and they show blowing the whole thing up. This is a floating tent, <laughs> and then they yeah they blow up the dock. You say blow up, they inflate the dock. And uh, there's the inside of it. Shit. And then they make this. There's the dock that they inflate. And he gets up there and stands on it. And that's just cool as hell, right? I love it. Wow. And they're Turkish. Who doesn't, like a, who doesn't like a turkey, right? A Turk. Oh, throw a little motor on there. Heck yeah. All right, 15. I also think it's fair game for us to point out when people say dumb things. The most powerful gathering of freedom fundamentalists since Philadelphia in 1776. Mojo 50. The only way to not be offended is to choose to not be offended. Your Daily Mojo. Passengers on an Iraqi Airlines flight were delayed after... A bear managed to escape from the cargo hold. You think snakes on a plane will make you... uh, The animal was somehow able to get out of its crate just as the plane was about to depart from Dubai International Airport on Friday. It was headed to the Iraqi capital of Baghdad, but the arrival time was reportedly pushed back about an hour after the folks on board were asked to disembark while the bear was dealt with. Get these MF and bears off this MF in plane. The big black bear was being handled through a gap in the uh, plane's open cargo door. The Iraqi RA said it wasn't to blame for the bear's escape, insisting that procedures were carried out in accordance with the law and standards. Okay. But uh, you just, it's never a good thing when a bear escapes the cargo hold. So the These are the weird little things from our history, from our past. This happened to be a story over on Vice. They're still in, and this is actually a story from quite a while ago, uh, from uh, 2016. And it's uh, titled, What the Hell Was That S Everybody Was Drawing in School? And it's about the, uh, it's appeared, apparently they did research on it, it has appeared throughout all of North America, South America, Europe, Russia, Asia, Australia, Some people think it's a 90s thing. Others report seeing it as early as the 1960s. There were theories that it was the symbol of some 80s hair metal band. Other people thought it was the original emblem for the clothing brand Stussy. It wasn't. Others thought it was an incarnation of the Superman logo. It wasn't. The... uh, they even went to the uh, guy over at DC Comics who said, yeah, that's uh, nothing to do with Superman. But he was intrigued. This being seven years ago, fast forward to today, and somebody who was apparently on his, and I don't know if this is, I don't know why he did it, but he's done it, Uh, a man by the name of, um, what is this dude's name? We'll call him Bob. Uh, Bob actually trademarked Hmm. the S thing. His name's Mark, actually. So he, uh, he now holds the trademark on this. Now, I don't know if that means because nobody had the trademark on it. So now the little S that we all drew back in, in school is, uh, is trademarked, and he looks like he sells clocks and other stuff. I always thought I it was that just smart. that people ended up with that from doodling. I mean, I could I draw a bunch of shit when I'm on the phone talking to somebody. I'll doodle and stuff like that. But right, but this is one of those things that everybody became familiar I with. I know. I would have sworn it's like, also that that was the that was a logo for a band. 
And apparently nobody, nobody knew. Yeah. Nobody knew what the hell it was, but he found out the uh, the symbol had been trademarked by a college student in Boston. He got on the phone to learn this kid was studying healthcare, was about to use the S as a logo on a line of soft clothing to be worn by people with sensitive skin. And uh, I guess he uh, offered to buy the buy it from this kid. So regardless, the kid who originally tried to trademark it ended up making a little cash off it. I wish I was smart enough to do stuff like that. I mean, he didn't just, really have to. Yeah, it just took took hold. And I mean, it, uh, why isn't anything that we? I mean, we've done all kinds of little crazy stuff. I don't know, it, Brad. I want ours to just take hold every now and then. That's because we're not from Turkey and our name's not Fain. I guess I don't know. There's got to be a reason why people would want to watch us, right? You'd think. Do I have to take something off oh, no. in order for oh, people to watch us? I've tried that. It doesn't seem to help. It doesn't. Watch and listen at thedailymojo.com.